بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دیز سلائڈز دیز ریکارڈنگز آر ریلیٹڈ ود دا کورس آف فنڈامنٹل آف سائیکالوجی آل دو اسٹوڈنٹس ہو رجسٹرڈ دس کورس ان دا سمر سیمسٹر فار دا انٹروڈکشن ٹو سائیکالوجی آف فنڈامنٹلز آف سائیکالوجی سو آئی ایم بینگ دا انسٹرکٹر فار دس کورس the the first thing i would like to explain and first uh, important thing i would like to explain that the uh, this course is based on eight videos uh, you can say that based on eight recordings and you know, there is a possibility that i can increase the volume up to 12 recordings or up to the 16 recordings uh let me clear you one thing all those students who failed to submit the assignments for the attenders uh so they will be ultimately marked absent and in fact absent and they'll not get the score as far as the assessment is concerned uh another important thing as the the frequency and the time period for the course is very short and uh, this is uh, we can say that this uh, you have uh, this course will be completed uh, the last uh, class for this course is on 27th of august 27th of august 2021 and uh, if you not attend the class and if you not listen my videos so i am telling you that you will face a real problem for completing or for getting the score uh, of this course for for this course uh i am telling you the i am uh, assigning you the major assignment as well for this course and the major assignment for this course would be uh to Uh, a kind of a survey based and it's based on four or seven pages uh, about uh, you can say that about 500 words required uh, to submit the major assignment and the major assignment will be based on a social issue we will choose any social issue for example like why people behave abnormally uh, why people bullying other people individuals why individuals behaved abnormally in the organization why uh, you can say that a psychological issues uh, has an impact on the environment of the organization so all social issues which has directly or indirectly impact or effect on the organization will be your my major assignment and this major assignment is scored 10 marks and if you fail to submit on time as i am assigning you from, from my first video and i am assigning you on my first video and hope you listen it if you not listen it i am telling you that you will face a serious problem for completing this course and as well as for passing this course now coming to the you can ask from me uh, through the queries you can ask from my cell number my cell number is 0332912346 uh, so you can contact me on, on through whatsapp so i will reply you don't call me just whatsapp me i will reply you accordingly and when i have time when i um, uh, allow you to call me then you can call me but you can directly whatsapp me on this number note this number and you can contact me anytime uh so come to the subject uh the subject is the psychology psychology is very important psychology is one of the key uh factor uh, one of the key element uh, one of the key area you can say that uh psychology is basically the study of mind and behavior in the psychology we uh, you can say that we study the mind and behavior of the individuals it encompasses the biological influences social pressures and environmental factors 
that affect how people think, act, and feel. This is the very important thing that how people think, act, and feel in the in in a particular area or in a particular uh, you can say that in a particular field you you might be said. And now you you seeing on the screen is derived from the Greek word psychic and logis. uh meaning soul psychic mean psyche mean soul and and study logi uh, means to study uh philosophy is simply the study of soul as i told you the study of mind and behavior in in some of the books in some of the uh in, in on internet you can you will can easily find out the different definitions uh with respect to the uh, psychology uh psychology is uh, the defined as the scientific study of the human behavior of living organisms with a special intention to the human behavior people are behaving with respect to the uh, uh you can say that with respect to the to the understanding with respect to as earlier i told you that the social pressures environmental factors and biological influences has uh, has a direct connection with the behavior of individuals for example people are living in the australia they have a different influence because of the fact is the environmental factors are different so the environmental factors when the environmental factors are different so they have a different impact on individuals uh, people are living in canada they have the different impact people are living in in uh, uk british they have different environmental factors in here in pakistan people who are living here with they have a different social pressures they have different biological influences and in as well as environmental factors so the the, the people uh, behavior so the people uh, the way they think the way they act the way they feel is totally different so this is how we can say that the uh, the background for for the course of the psychology is next is uh, if we seeing it that uh, the the uh, the psychology is the study of behavior i told you and the mental processes psychologists uh, overt or observable behavior as well as covert behavior private mental processes that cannot be directly observed are measured and must be infer inferred inferred from a word behavior a word behavior is uh, is a kind of a behavior which is seenable which is observable you are seeing it some of the people behavior and that is uh, the overt behavior covert behavior is a kind of a behavior which is not directly observable you cannot ob observe it directly uh you can say that in the in the in the in the area or in the field of the behavioral studies or the psychological studies we call it subject so for this covert behavior we study the subject and we we have a developed questionnaire we set a questionnaire and ask different questions from the individuals related with their behavior related with their act related with their thinking related with their uh as i told you the 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 thing the how they think about it as you know that if uh, if i'm i'm saying that as a example this is observable behavior but uh, for example you see that people who are crossing the red light during uh, driving a car they they don't uh, follow the rules and regulations of the traffic police traffic department and they cross the red line and not stop their car on a particular area for a particular area on a particular area another individual is not crossing the red line and stay in a particular place so this means that it's an observable based behavior but uh, a covert behavior is that if we can further go on that why a particular person not stop uh, for the red light Uh, red light and why he cross the red line uh and why he is not obeying the rules and regulations why he is not obeying the police 
you can say that the the rules and regulations you can say that and why he he and she is violating the rules and another thing is not uh, directly observed it that uh, some of the person is not discussing their issues some of the people has a, has a kind of the intuitions and and the kind of the mindset where he uh, she can uh, kill someone this is extreme situations but we cannot go for the extreme uh, in the not observable there is a person who cannot uh, easily communicate with other person there is a person who cannot easily interact with the people he and she might shy uh, to face the audience so this these are all the non observable uh, or we cannot directly observe these things and we cannot judge the behavior of the individuals for example in a long room or in a you can say that in a long area where the lot of people are sitting there and you observe different people there are some act which is directly observable but there are so many acts which is not directly observable the person who is not uh 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 trash in a proper dustbin they they throw the trash and the waste material in the in the in the in the lawn or you can say that in a in a parking area or in a park uh in some area other areas or recreational areas we can say that so these are some of the things which uh, which is observable and with some of the so many things which is not observable uh so many students asked from me why after the 911 this act has happened and so many people so many students asked from me in my physical classes that what kind of the people who basically has the mindset who killed uh kids uh in the incident of the APS army public school what kind of those people who basically killed uh, uh, the kids even and with this brutality and this brutal killing goes on so there are so many factors which which need to study they they this is this is a kind of we only observe that they, uh, they these kind of the people just killed the, the kids but we don't know about their background we don't know about their environmental factors we don't know about their uh their childhood behaviors we don't know about their we can say that social pressures so these are the things which needs to address when we when we cannot observe things directly so this is how i can say that a covert behavior is if you have any questions related to the covert behaviors and overt behaviors you can directly ask from me uh you can go inquire through the lms and you can directly i told you Uh, whatsapp uh before going to the uh, describe the uh, we can say that yes yes go first we have to explain this the goals of the psychology uh describe behavior what is the nature of this behavior why people are behaving in a particular way why kid or uh, some individuals are behaving in 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 anger why they show the anger in a particular situation and other people in the same situation is not showing the anger and why a person has the mental or they has the more capability to control their emotions and the same situation with the same situation other person cannot control his or her behavior so emotionally they are not uh, they are not stable other person is is emotionally disabled so this is a kind of a thing that we need to describe the behavior other thing is that you can ask questions from me and i can um, furtherly elaborate and but in the in the in the in the coming chapters i will explain you about these things with the with the in with the importance uh then understand and explain behavior why does it occur, uh, why does it occur i told you about the aps in the, uh, incident and students ask from me why those people killed kids particularly we even not even killed a bird and we cannot evenly killed any animals easily 
uh, are brut- brutally we can say that so we think about when we are we are when we are harming any animals or when we are harming any individuals not it's not about only animals it's about humans as well we 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 cannot killed humans a normal individuals can never killed humans it's basically the one of the trait of the indivi- of the person who has abnormal traits or abnormal characteristics who killed someone whatever the reason is whatsoever whatsoever the reason is but but killing another individual or harming another individual for whatever whatsoever the reason is it means that person is not in a normal trait of mind we need to study it we need to find out the reason why a particular person behave in a in a certain in a certain way uh, we can say that why the person is behaving like this so so, so uh, the goals of the psychology is to study why does it occur we need to find out the reasons that why these things happen why this thing uh, relate uh, we can say that uh, the minor assignments i uh, in fact is it's one of the assignment for you people uh, to watch any of the psychology related movie uh, uh, in fact watch a beautiful mind a beautiful mind and summarize beautiful mind in your own understandings in your own words i will assign you through the lms and then you will then you will write or uh, narrate the uh, the the overall understanding what you understand from the from the uh, from the movie of a beautiful mind it's a movie it's a story of a mathematician and that mathematician involved in it in its field uh, so much that it's he behaving abnormally so study it and uh, give me your feedback through a write up it's not feedback that you like it or dislike it i'm not asking just describe it what you see in the video and what you learn from the video or what actually you conclude from the video if you not learned anything from the video so it's not a big deal but what you conclude from the movie is it is more it is very important for me so write it and explain it to me okay predict behavior can be forecast when and under what circumstances it will occur so this is another thing so psychologists can predict the behavior the psychologists can uh, study the behavior of the individuals psychologist is basically known about the behavior of the individuals so they can easily or if not easily with they have some questionnaire designed questionnaire structured questionnaire and with the help of these structured questionnaire they can easily predict the behavior of individuals and why and what circumstances people behave differently uh if you see the kid uh in some situation kid behaved shy kid behaved uh, are with the external people are the uh, all those individuals who who whom he or she not meet on a regularly basis like parents he meet on a daily basis in fact uh, the kid spend time most of his life time with the parents and the the majority of the time 24 hours we can say that kid spend time with his mother his or her mother so he has a strong if affiliation with mother more than with the father with the passage of time they develop a good relationship with the father they know about a father is spending so much money a father is uh has a relationships are developing a relationship it's, i'm not it's not doesn't only mean that the father is spending the money mother is also spending the money i'm not uh, i'm not portraying any discriminatory uh, behavior here so this is just a example uh, so so these are things that, that under what circumstances and under what situations and the kids behaved shy the kid behaved shy in front of the external individuals because of the reason is that he and she cannot see those people on a regularly basis so those individuals are new from for the kid 
so it, at the sometimes you you observe it get cried uh, to see the any external individual coming uh, came into into their place and they met with the individuals so the kid shy and and as well as and some situation kid cried so it's the parents who trained them it's the parent who involved them are uh, have a meet and greet uh, sessions through meet and greet interactions uh, with the relatives with the different uh, family members you can say that go outside they visited the recreational areas where they can give them the opportunity to place an order for him and herself so these are different things so where we can uh, overcome the shyness of the kid if we cannot work on this trait or if we cannot work on this characteristics so that characteristics will become a permanent trait of individual so people will that individual that kid will be always be a shy and he cannot easily interact with the individuals so this is how you can say that they you can predict the behavior and so these are some of the tools but in in so many of the situations we cannot predict the behavior of individuals uh the individuals behavior and the individuals intuitions individuals practices are change from one person to another person the environment is very uh social factors vary from one environment to another environment so, so there's so many things control behavior what factors influence this behavior control behavior is that uh if if we if we see again the example of the aps so there are so many factors that influence the behavior that you killed the person uh, if if you uh, you heard about from so many psychologists even from the tv channels and tv programs that all those kids who who seeing or who is playing uh, a game a shooting games all the time all the time means that 24 by 7 are uh, all the time means that they have the only objective in the life is to uh, play a game and a such kind of a game which is a shooting game where he uh, might kill another individual so do you ever observe and do you ever play any game and if you if you not play any game at this stage let's play any kind of a game uh related with the shootings and related with the killings so i am telling you that you have a kind of a chemical reactions in your body which can respond you in a different manners you will be uh you will behaved in a like in an in, in an anger mood you will behaved like you you will be afraid in some of the situations you will be harsh in some of the situation when you are playing a game if someone disturb you or if someone is not disturb you but there is a chemical reactions changing in your mind related with the games your your intuitions your involvement your emotions uh, all kind of a things will remain change with respect to playing a game uh, sometimes where for example you you seeing any kind of a movie so that movie has emotional attachment with you so you you might cry when you are watching a movie so same thing is that when you are playing a games you become so harsh you can press the the keyboards so harshly you can press uh, the joystick so harshly you can throw away in some of the situation if you lose it you can throw the keyboard so these are the kind of a things which has the influence on your behavior so the thing is how you control your behavior if you have the knowledge if you have the capability so so you can understand it why we restrict the movies that this is a movie for only for a 6 year kid this is a movie for only for a 7 years kid these are the movies for the adults these are the movies for a 12 age years these are the movies for 18 plus why we are why a uh, broadcaster mentioned this restrictions because there your mindset is not capable to differentiate between positives and negatives at that stage at the age of 6 uh, the kid cannot differentiate between 
positives and negatives he only knows that what kind of the information is coming to him and her bas there's no more uh, understanding there is no more uh, logic behind the the kid who is seeing or who is watching the movies who was playing the game because of the reason is their mind their cognitive abilities are not designed as much are not designed uh, are developed as much so so this is the one of the reason another thing is the classification of behavior conscious uh, acts within the level of one's awareness unconscious acts that uh, deeply embedded in one's subconscious unaware actions so unconscious is when you are uh when you are thinking about something you are not reacting it but you are thinking about something unaware actions uh conscious is uh you are listening me so you are listening me uh, you are sitting with someone and you are talking with someone this is a conscious behavior unconscious is behavior is when you are sleeping and you you're not in your conscious level and you in, in during the sleeping you talk uh um we talk with someone and with an an un uh, identified or when you cannot identify the person you react respondently you you throw your hands uh rapidly uh randomly or you shout uh, unconsciously these are all unaware actions we can say that voluntarily done with full violation will and control for example you harsh with somebody you you abuse to someone so this is a voluntarily behavior involuntarily behavior is process within our body that go even while we asleep or awake without our control and manipulation so there is some of the kind we can involuntarily hit someone we involuntarily without our control can um, hit someone or we can talk with someone and these are some of the things which is which is the involuntary acts uh fundamental characteristics of human behavior human behavior uh flows an orderly pattern change in a person's uh, life has a degree of order and regularity in its nature human behavior can be known human behavior can be observed knowledge of human behavior is tentative but superior to ignorance we must pursue knowledge to be able to improve human conditions uh, nothing is self evident our truth must only be claimed and established when they are demonstrated objectively so the thing is why people are behaving is why people are reacting in a particular situation why people are anger in a particular situation until and unless we don't have any objectivity or until and unless we don't have a self evident uh, we don't uh, demonstrate things in a very well mannered we cannot trust uh, we cannot think uh, based on the the things uh, self evident is uh, your own understanding your own understandings might be uh, has the limitations so without uh, knowing the facts without knowing about the reality without establishing a particular rules and regulations you cannot see anything about any individuals there is a situation persons might be anger in a particular situation because of the reason is that his or his his or her coworker not reacting appropriately there is a possibility his or her boss is not behaving properly that's why or that's might be the reason he be he being reactive or he being uh, anger in 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 his or her behavior knowledge is derived from the acquisition of experiences uh, knowledge is a product of experiences so it's a very quick uh, simple thing and i know that you people understand about this uh, historical background uh, historical aristotle believed that at birth the mind is is a tabula a uh, tabula tabula rasa and uh, uh, a blank sheet and that the experiences one encounters during one's lifetime are impressed on the mind distinguish three functions of the soul 
vegetative concerned with basic maintenance of life happy appetitive concerned with motives and desires rational governing functions introduces common sense so these are the things where you live what what kind of the food you intake what kind of the mindset you have developing what kind of the rationale you are developing so these are all the things where you can develop a common sense or where you are developing the whole uh, structure of your mindset so whatever you are telling to the individuals or whatever you are discussing with the kid he understands it so and then he observe you uh, and react according to your uh, behavior and with your uh, uh, observation so whatever this whatever he or she seeing in the society in the external environment he learned from the environment so though, so the environment has a very very important role before going to the environment before going to the interaction with the environment individual has an interaction with the parents parents has a very very important role i am telling you parents play a very key role for the development of individual without uh, i must say that i must say that uh, if the parents are not performing their role with the with with the responsibility kids behaved our kids behaviors will very uh, in some of the situation in some of the cases is uncontrollable so the role of parents is very important i am telling you the role of parents are very important how they behave themselves mother and father how mother and father behave uh, and how they communicate with each other how they handle the situations how they differentiate between one uh, kid and another kid he uh, their kids are observing these kind of the uh, behavior uh, what kind of the food intake you are giving to your kids this is also very important uh, they have a direct impact on their personality what kind of the technology you are providing to your kids is also very important so these are all very important things that you uh, even uh, even parents can set a time table even parents can set the rules and regulations so these are all the things which is very important for the development of the uh, individuals for the lifetime and they carry that things for a longer period of time so uh, this is the introductory slide and hope you can understand it please listen my slides uh listen my video and what what kind of the confusion whatsoever you have a confusion related to this chapter you can ask from me so we will discuss it uh i will provide you the next video as well uh, related with this course so thank you very much and hope you can uh understand uh this course as well